Hi everybody, this is Cindy. It is that time of year when I bring out all of the ornaments to decorate the tree. There's a lot of new people to my channel, so I'm definitely going to be doing an ornament parade as I take them out of their box. I hope you enjoy this. I know a lot of people want to stitch ornaments for their tree, so this might give you some ideas of what pieces you might want to stitch. Below in the link, if you click the down arrow, there is a link to my blog. I have every piece I ever made over the last 10 years on that blog. You can find out what pattern it is and what I stitched it on. So let's get started. This is such a beautiful design. This came from the Just Cross Stitch Ornament Issue. And I think it was 2016. Now don't mark me on that. I'm pretty sure this is Blackbird Designs. And that is a beautiful piece. And I definitely outlined it in silver on the bird. That is the back. So that is the first one. The next one is a pattern from a leisure arts magazine and this is snoopy and i added a little button here that's snoopy and this was a new series that came out this year from hands-on designs kathy haberman and this is noel and I definitely added silver in here. This was from a Just Cross Stitch ornament issue. I don't know what year, uh, but this is the star. It's a very pretty design. This is from the same series, Hands-On Designs. And I put the same back on all of them. I did six of them out of the nine. I didn't do all nine. I might do the other three at some point. I do have the patterns. This is the tree in the series. Very pretty. This is Cash and Carry. I added gold beads at the top here. You could see all of the gold beads along the top. Cardinals. This is so pretty. This is from a Just Cross Stitch Ornament Issue. I'm not sure what year. I don't know if it's 16 or 15. That is the back. That is a beautiful piece. Love the Cardinals. This is a Lizzie Kate design. I added the bells on the bottom. He's super cute. This is a little snowman. Gonna tell you the design of this one. Like I said, everything is on my blog. If you want to know what pattern it was, you'll have to scroll back. I did add Swarovski crystals in there. You can see him. He's cute. Super cute. This is a hands-on designs. Very pretty. I think this was in a Just Cross Stitch ornament issue. Couldn't tell you what one, though. 
I definitely do not have the best memory. This is the snowman. I'm pretty sure this is in a Just Quest a tournament issue. He's super cute. They added a little bead on the door there and a little Swarovski crystal in the snowflake. This was in a Just Cross Stitch ornament issue. Can I tell you what year? Super pretty design. That is definitely a prairie schooler, the little dog. Super cute. And of course, this is the prairie schooler kitty cat. I got a little piece of fuzz on there. I added the little bell on the collar. Now these were definitely from this year. A lot of people did these. I only did two in the series. I I think I just got tired of seeing it on everybody's video and blog. It was just everywhere and it was I just lost interest. And I did this one over one on 28 count. I do love the two pieces I did. And this was the first one and I did put the charm. Love the piece. And this was the second one in the series I did. I added all the cardinals in. I liked it much better. As they started cutting it out, it was just more and more I found out it just wasn't interesting me. That is the back. But I do have these two, and I do think they're beautiful. And this is, of course, a Hawk Run Hollow house. Made that into an ornament. And that is the houses of Hawk Run Hollow. That one I know. <laughs> this is Luminary Elaine. I did that in silver. This is Hands On Designs. It's a part of that series. This is the bear. I think this is either Little House Needleworks or Country Cottage Needleworks. I'm not sure which one. And I did add Swarovski crystals on top of the trees and the snowflake. The bear is super cute. This is a part of the Chalk series. And I just did the chicken motifs. Super cute. I really like this one. This was in a Just Cross Stitch ornament issue. I did a tutorial on how to finish round and oval pieces. And this was one of the pieces I used in that. As you could see, the sparkle in the linen. Really pretty. Did the purple on the back. Beautiful piece. Now this is either, I think this is Little House Needleworks. Super cute. This was in a Just Cross Stitch ornament issue. I'm not sure what year. I did a bunch of these at the beginning of this year and sent them out as gifts. I added Swarovski crystals there. This is, I'm pretty sure, a blackbird design.
this is Noel. I'm pretty sure this is in the 2017 just cross stitch ornament issue. I just used, I finished this on felt. Two layers of felt. It's really pretty. Noel. This is Blessings. Super cute. I added a little heart there. To the back. The trim. I'm pretty sure that's in a chest cross stitch ornament issue. Not sure what one though. Joyous Noel. Um, this is a freebie. I couldn't tell you where I got it from. Super pretty. This is done on a sparkly linen there. You can see the sparkle. This was a part of a, a series of four or five. I think this is Little House Needleworks. I think. Like I said, <laughs> go to my blog. You'll have to scroll back to see what these patterns are. Of course, Prairie Score. This is the 2017 uh, one. This is with the polar bear. I love this one. I put a little charm in there for the compass, compass charm. Super cute. That is the back. Trim. Love the polar bear. Somebody made me this, and I know exactly who it is. I love it. North Pole Express. With the buttons. Very pretty. Little heart there. This is love. Very pretty. And here's another one in that series. Love the colors in this. I changed some of the colors. Beautiful. Now I had stitched North Pole Express too, but this is how I did mine. Definitely a little different. It's amazing, bigger and smaller, how different they look in different um, fabrics and linens. Look at them side by side. Look at how different they look. This was a gift. I love it. This is the one I did. And I got the Prairie School of Santa. This is the Sunflower Santa. I love him. He's so big. Put him right there. <laughs> it's hard to see him all. He's so big. This is a beautiful pattern. I love this one. That's a little bigger of an ornament. That one I did in 2016. I actually dated that one. This is definitely from a dress cross stitch ornament issue. I'm not sure what year I did add. Uh, as you can see, th there's uh, beads in here. The little star I added. Handsome snowman. This I'm pretty sure is Lizzie Kane. I added Swarovski crystals and some of the snowflakes here. And these lighter tone colors. I really like this one. The next three are a gift. Uh, that 
very special stitcher we exchange every year. I've been exchanging with her for years. She does amazing work. And you know who you are. You know I love these. Oh, you're cute. Very pretty. This I'm pretty sure is from a Just Cross Stitch Ornament issue. This is the next one they made. It's got a little Swarovski on the tree there. Beautiful. This is also a Just Cross Stitch Ornament issue. Now this is definitely a pattern. Oh, I don't know. Oh, they did this one too. Look at how pretty that is on the black. Love these ornaments. I treasure these. Anybody who gives me a gift, I treasure these. I know who it's from. I just so enjoy them. This, I think, is my favorite from the series. This is the church. I finished this in oval. I added the bell. I did a little silver in there. So it looks like a bell. That's the back. This one, I think, was my favorite in the whole series. This is definitely a Lizzie Kate. And I got a, I put some Swarovski crystals in the flowers. Rejoice. That's the back. Side. This one, I have no memory. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm horrible with my memory. It's super cute. Finished it with this cording. Got the charms on there. It's a cute winter. This could stay out all winter, too. This is, <clears throat> excuse me, my only needle punch. My friend Peggy, who passed away, uh, did this piece, and I finished it into an ornament. And I love this piece. I treasure it. And, yeah, look how pretty that is. She did a good job with her needle punch for sure. And a little bird. And my gingerbread man. He's on sparkly white. And my gingerbread man finished. Isn't he darling? Tiny little one just says, bless our home. This is done on one over one. It's super cute, though. A lot of these pieces stay out all year around my house. A lot of them are in the box, though. And it says, fa-la-la. -la. I added white beads on there for the snow. The chenille trim. I double trimmed it. I did the pom poms and the chenille. Fa la la. Prairie schooler. I added a little bell. Super cute. And the gingerbread house. Let me hit the button up here. There's a Santa with another sunflower. Love him. Love him. Another prairie school. Some of them I date. That was 2016. I love the black fabric on it. Very classic. Those patterns just never go out of style. It's amazing. One of my friends made this gift for me. It's beautiful. 
with every every side of it. Look at that. It, it's it's a gorgeous piece. I love it. Oh, the prairie school. I did this one over one. <laughs> really tiny but this is, has the snow flower sunflowers here and it's got the bird super cute look how tiny look that's in my hand how tiny it is that's another one love the colors in this one Simplicity. I did add the heart pins on there. That's how I actually attached the accordion. This one is definitely from a Just Cross Stitch magazine. I think it was the 2007, no, 2016 issue. I stitched it in 2017. Beautiful, beautiful pattern. This is another one of my favorites. Look at the trim. That's just a beautiful piece. It's a definitely a bigger ornament piece, though. You could definitely display that throughout your house if you didn't want to put it on your tree. This, I'm pretty sure it was from a Just Cross Stitch ornament issue birds and I did a button topper to hold it. This was a gift piece that was done for me in 2015. Beautiful. Beautiful. Ribbon candy. It's my ribbon candy ornament. <laughs> How cute it is. I remember ribbon candy as I was growing up. I don't think it's as popular anymore. I'm not sure. Pink circles. This is definitely an adjust cross stitch ornament issue. I don't know which one. I attached beads on there. Holly. That is a gorgeous piece. Chenille. I did this plain white on the back. Very pretty. This is a Just Cross Stitch ornament issue. I'm pretty sure this is 2016. 2016 issue had a lot of great patterns for me. I definitely used the silks on it. It's a beautiful piece. Pretty sure this is ink circles also. I added the crystals and the cross. I like this one. The simplicity. The colors. Beautiful piece. This was a gift. From a stitching friend. It's beautiful. She does beautiful work too. Love it. This is the other one in the series. And the trim. Prairie score. Look at him. I like the cardinal. The mitten. He's really long. This is definitely Lizzie Kate. Look how cute. I did a multi layer finish on this one. He's adorable. 
cute. Stinking cute. Aren't they all? Not sure where this pattern is from. This is buttercup. I'm sure this is in just one of the cross stitch ornament issues. It's cute. This is definitely in one of the cross stitch ornament issues. I'm not sure what one. It's pretty. The simpli simplicity. It's just pretty though. This pattern is um, by Arlene Cohen, works by ABC. I made that into an ornament. Cute. Oh, this one's adorable. Look at this. Joy. I'm not sure if it's from the 2017 or 16 Just Cross Stitch Ornament issue. I love this one. Pins. Very different. Joy. May we have joy. This was also a gift. Beautiful work. Got the beads. Very pretty. I'm pretty sure this is ink circles. This was in a just cross stitch ornament issue. Love it. You would never think to use pink or rose color. Very pretty. I just did a basic flannel on the back. Very nice. Noelle. I'm pretty sure this was in a just cross stitch ornament issue. I guess I did a two layer finish too. I love the candy cane, the twine, the green and the red. This was a gift that I recently received, the Biscorner ornament. Look how pretty. Love it. I love this piece on it. Super pretty. This is the snowman. He's definitely in a just cross stitch ornament issue. And I think I just pulled him out of a, a snippet of a piece of the whole pattern. I'm sure it's Kringle's Coal. I only did the snowman though. He's cute though. The back side. Jingle jingle. Pretty sure that's Lizzie Kate. And the last one out of the box is Prairie Schooler. Look at how cute he is. I got Swarovski crystals in the uh, snowflake. If you could see it a little bit. It's the back. He's beautiful. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing of all of the ornaments. I hope you get some ideas for some ornaments, for gifts, or for yourself. I hope that gives somebody some inspiration. Merry Christmas and happy stitching, everyone. I thought I had collected all of the pieces around the house, but I did forget this one. This is a special gift that I received, and I actually had it displayed on my fireplace mantle, so I had forgot it, but it's beautiful, and I did want to show you that. There is a total of 75 cross-stitch ornaments on my tree. Happy stitching, everyone.